And here with another question bank question in topic 7.2, we're looking at uh, the binding energy per nucleon chart in this question. So in this chart, what we have on the x-axis is the nucleon number of all the atoms. And on the y-axis, we have the binding energy per nucleon in MeV. We're given a uh, fission equation involving plutonium-239, and it breaks up into strontium-91 and barium-146. We want to use the graph to estimate the energy released in this reaction. Okay, well first off, we, what we want to do is we want to use the chart to get the binding energies of plutonium, strontium, and barium. So let's start with plutonium. The binding energy per nucleon for plutonium-239, we'll read the graph right here at 239, come up to here, and I read about 7.5 MeV per nucleon. So plutonium is 7.5 MeV per nucleon, but there are 239 nucleons, resulting in total binding energy of 1,000. 792 MeV. All right, what about strontium? 91 nucleons, plus that's about here. Come up to the top of the chart, and I read about 8.6 MeV per nucleon. There are 91 nucleons for a total of 783 MeV. And finally, we have uh, barium. Taking a look at the chart, barium has a 146 nucleons. Take that up to the top of the chart, and I read about 8.2 MeV. Barium has 146 nucleons, resulting in a total of 1,197 MeV. Now in the reaction, what happens? Plutonium breaks apart, so we need to spend all of 1,792 MeV to take it apart. When we put it back together in the form of strontium and barium, we get back 783 and 1,197 MeV respectively. So the total energy on the reactant side is the sum of the two, or 1,980 MeV. So what happened is we had to take, we had to invest 1,792 MeV to break apart the plutonium, but when we put it back together into strontium and barium, we got back a total of we got back a total of 1980. The difference between the two is this amount here, and that's about 200 MeV.